Hello, welcome everyone to a new video from Shakti Yoga and the Shakti Yoga Wheel. So in this episode, we are going through a couple of shoulder stretches because the shoulder usually is a very tight spot and also a very sensitive spot. So I wanted to show you a couple of postures that you can do with the yoga wheel to open up your shoulders and to get more strength into it. So let's start with it. So come onto your knees and bring your wheel right in front of you. Right hand goes right on top of the yoga wheel and then slowly open your knees a little bit wider than hip width apart so you can roll slightly forward and you can feel the lengthening in your arms without pulling the upper arm bone out of his socket so draw the shoulder blades back and in and then start to lower your forehead towards the floor so you want to start with maybe some little support before you go the whole way down You can bring your left arm right next to you. Take a few more breaths in and see if you can turn your shoulder blades more towards the floor. If that's too much stretch in your shoulders, come back up again. Beautiful, and then switch sides. Left hand on top, draw the arm bone back and bring your forehead down onto your fists. Soften your heart towards the floor. We'll elongate your neck. And again, soften the face. And just feel into your shoulder. You may want to roll a little bit back and forth and see how the range of motion changes with this light action. Yeah. But you want to make sure that you bring the tip of your shoulder blade, the outer shoulder, more towards the chest and the floor. Okay, keep enough space in between your ears and your neck, but you still have a long side body. Yeah, and then switch. Bring your wheel right in front of you. Bring your elbows on top, so they're really close together. And then interlace your fingers, and you may want to roll it more forward so you get the full length. So you bring your head again onto your upper arms and then drop your heart. If you want to have a little bit more of intention, you bring your forearms, bring your knees further back, curl your tailbone away from you, draw the lower rib cage in and feel the lengthening in your side body. Breathe into your mid-back. So especially this part of your rib cage lifts up. So it's not like you're hanging into your rib cage. So you really engage your abdominal muscles and you lift the lower rib cage towards the mid-back. Yeah. Do that one more time. Good. Release. Again, right hand on top. This time, the left arm needles right under, and you scooch the left shoulder towards the right. Take your time in this posture that might be very intensive, and then swing the hip back towards middle end. This is a really nice shoulder opener for everyone who has tight chest muscles, and most of us have tight chest muscles from sitting, curling the shoulders forward, switch sides, left hand on top and the right arm goes right under. Yeah. So scooch the shoulder, shift it more towards the left. And then relax your right shoulder into the floor. And swing the hip back. There we go. Good. And I would change the position to Purvottanasana. And uh, it's a very intensive shoulder and chest opener, so you might want to go slow here. So swing your feet forward, hands right under your shoulders again. Bring your heels on top first. 
get. If it's wobbly, just play with it and then lift the seat a bit. So if you feel really strong by lifting the seat away from the floor, open your toes, keep your chin slightly back and then push from your hands up towards the ceiling. Yeah. Again, keep your side body long and then slowly lower. Bring the seat back and down. Beautiful. Good job, guys. So thank you for watching this episode and see you next time. Bye-bye and namaste.